सो हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू कोड अरिना आई एम आमिना एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विथ न्यू चैलेंज एंड विथ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस बेसिकली दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ मेकिंग अ डोनट साइट लाइक द फ्रंट पेज ऑफ डोनट साइट विथ जस्ट एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस नो जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन इट वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग अ स्टैटिक पेज लाइक यू नो फॉर आवर प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज प्रैक्टिस मेक्स परफेक्ट so let's jump, jump in to our project and i have made two files in lex.html and styles.css and i have already uh, you know i have already saved my picture donut.png and if you want to do this uh, just download any donut picture from google and when it's downloaded from the file explorer just uh, you know drag and drop here and it's done and after that in index.html Uh, I'm gonna make a boiler plate, and I'm gonna give the title to Donut Web Page. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna link to our styles dot css, which is the main part because you need to style the page. Okay, and uh, after that, what we are gonna do is first we'll study that how it looks like. So first we have this big heading. So yeah, let's make a h1 tag. So I'm gonna make H1 and inside this I'm gonna write the donut shop. Okay, okay, nothing more is there and I'm gonna go live so we can see how our web page looks like. Okay, this is the heading. After H1 tag we have this paragraph so we are just gonna copy this paragraph and we are gonna paste it in our p tag. We are gonna paste it in our p tag. Okay, this is also copied. and after that if you want line breaks so you can just add the br tag okay and yeah let's see how it looks okay it looks like this nice i think it's almost the same and after that we have this button so let's make a quick button so just add button and we are going to write here order now okay i think yeah order now and uh, before doing all the things we are going to give the class to heading so that we can style this in a very well way and we are going to give the p tag a class of description or you can give any name if you want okay and then we have this button so we'll give the class to btn now because this is the order now and we are going to make two buttons this one and this one and let's see how does this look okay this looks nice and after that we'll add this image so let's add the image tag img and we are going to just add this donut.png okay let's close this Okay, let's save this and let's see how does this look. Okay, this looks very nice. Now what we have more, we have this nav bar with us. So what we are going to do is on the top side, we'll just add a nav tag and inside this we'll give a class to nav bar, okay? And after that, we'll make a unordered list. Okay, let's make an unordered lists and inside this we'll give list items all shift down we have four uh, options home menu about and book table we are just making a static design so home menu about and book table book table okay let's save this and see the result we have this four unordered lists with us and let's see what's more in there we have one more button with us so what we're going to do is we'll just make one more button tag and inside this we'll give a class to top btn and we'll uh, uh, do a space and we'll write here btn now so that we can style it don't worry right now i'll explain it afterwards so let's name this button like we'll name it order online so let's save this okay we have two buttons with us this and this now what's the fun part to style them with our styles.css file firstly we'll target the heading and after this heading we'll give uh let's see what's the okay we have this big heading so i think the font size would be 
first we'll give the font size to 160 pixels i thought uh, okay i think it's nice and then we are gonna make this font a bit creative like this one so i've already uh, opened this google fonts just open the google fonts and uh, search this uh, name and after that just select this and just i'll delete this and this is the font so just copy this link and paste this link in your html head section okay and after that copy this css link and paste this in the css file let's see okay i think yeah it's the same congratulations okay so after the heading we have this p tag so we have already named this as description you know the class name is description and we are gonna set the font size to 30 pixels because it's a paragraph and you know it's it should be smaller than the heading so we have this and we are gonna set the font family to sans serif so let's set the font family to sans serif let's see the result okay it's nice and then we have this button tag with us right this order now button so let's target this or before the button we could uh, target the image tag i think so img is the image and we could set the width to 850 pixels let's try this it should be big right okay it's much better and now we'll do the position relative and position absolute basically it means what that if you want to uh, control this image or control this heading anywhere in the body section so you just need to uh, you know add the position relative and position absolute so we'll just move this donut from the left side so first we'll target our body section body and we are gonna set it to position relative and we are gonna do it to position absolute and after that from the right side we can do for i think 100 pixels would work okay it's nice hopefully i think yeah it's good now from the top side we can do for 50 pixels let's try this out or 40 pixels or yeah 50 pixels okay it's nice and now uh, we have this button tag so yeah let's style this so let's do b t n now okay and inside this what we have we have the background color of the button so i have this rgb color you can just take this i have copied this and i have pasted it in here this is kind of a yellow color okay i think now it's good and uh, we have this color of i think dark slate blue let's try this dark slate blue or gray let's do this i think yeah this is the thing and uh, we have no borders in it so we'll do border equal to zero border zero okay and then let's try this out how does this look okay and now we need to uh, increase the padding so let's increase the padding to 20 pixels it's nice and now we'll set the font size to let's say 20 pixels let's try this out i think uh, we should increase so let's do for 22 pixels yeah now it's good and we'll set the border radius to 100 pixels so it will be rounded like this and we want this font weight to be bolder because uh, you know it gives a very nice look so bolder okay now it's nice something is missing i think uh no nothing is missing so now we'll come to the point this final point is this nav bar to be look like this and after that we'll change the background color to black or we can just set it right now so let's set the background color to black and uh, the color of heading should be white so it will look nice and the description would be white smoke somewhere different right let's see okay this is our look final look 
and uh, these are the nav bar right now so we'll change it right now so let's style the nav bar nav bar and after that we'll set the color to white so we can see it properly okay we can see this and uh, we'll go to nav bar li and we'll do float to left so all the items would be in the left side okay like this but now we can see this little little bullets with us so we can just do list style to none okay so it will be removed automatically and we can see this there is no space between these all things so we can just do margin right right to be 18 pixels so it will be a proper space i think yeah it's nice and then we'll change the font family to font family to sans serif again i think now it's looking very nice and after that what we are left with so we are left with the font size so let's set the font size now font size uh, could be 30 pixels let's try this okay i think it's normal right now and then the main part arrives which is to set these all things the button and these all nav bar to the right side of this web page okay so we'll just do position absolute as we have done this position relative here so we'll do position absolute position absolute so from the right side we can do 300 pixels for the right value i think it's nice and from the top or from the bottom i think we should do 500 pixels let's save this okay i think it's good but when we'll just move this uh, right side so this will come automatically down so let's target the top btn and uh, we'll do position absolute and after that uh, from the right side i think it would be 100 pixels for the better okay and from the bottom it could be i think uh, 500 pixels or i think it would be 490 pixels because we want this same we want this to be say in the same line okay i think it's nice now the remaining part and the last part is to make uh, the space between these all things so let's do this by doing margin left to be 60 pixels i think so let's try this okay it's nice and uh, in this uh, real one we can see the width of the buttons are more so we can just increase the width by let's say width to be 180 pixels for the better uh, i think it's the same yeah it's looking the same but we can do the cursor to be pointer because every time we just you know do this so it will be pointed okay so we can do this but the buttons are not pointing so in the btn now we can just do it cursor to be pointer now everything would be pointed hopefully you are clear with it and yeah we are we have completely done with our web page congratulations just share your achievements on twitter if you like this video then share it with your friends and thanks for watching